I'm going first. We've got, uh, looks like a Baker opening. 3-4 with the states. No weird stuff. Let's take a look at this board. Attacks Witch, Ig, Ambassador. Taxman, okay. Uh, Ambassador. Ambassador counters Witch and Ig. Uh, Taxman could still potentially be annoying, though. Uh, so you, you don't really particularly need a bunch of defense. Trashing, you've got Butcher, Ambassador, Steward, and technically Taxman. Okay, fine. Draw. Well, the only draw is Witch. Mmm. That's, uh, well, Steward. Okay, never mind. Uh, Steward is just way better than Witch because I don't necessarily want to be giving my opponent purples to pass back to me. But uh, it's terminal, and Native Village appears to be the only village. Uh, plus buy. Storeroom, okay, which is also terminal, but there's Butcher for gains. Okay, the engine is weak because the draw is weak. However, Ambassador and Fairgrounds, so you totally have to go for it anyway. With a Baker opening, hmm. Well, I'm going to get an Ambassador on $3. Which of these juicy, juicy fives do I want? Baker is uh, really frickin' good. With Ambassador, um, Ig and Witch are just not. Butcher, I guess, is the other consideration, but I like Baker so much more. I think I'm going to end up wanting a lot of native villages. Which means, like, you can butcher estates and coppers into native villages, which is quite nice, but, you know, if you bloat your deck, none of it matters anyway. Uh, there are only 17 cards here. So, only six point fairgrounds are possible. And a lot of these cards are, are pretty inconvenient to have anyway. Hmm. Steward's going to be important, I think. Uh, I, I want a lot of cheap things. Man, maybe I should have got a Butcher. No, I, I really don't like opening with the two terminals. And, and Baker's so good. <sighs> Butcher or Baker, which one of you do I want? If they collide, I'll wish I had a Baker. If they don't, I'll wish I'll have a, I had a Butcher. Odds are they don't collide, right? Um, but Baker, I mean, that effectively keeps you thinner, too. Butcher is a gainer, which I don't necessarily want early. So, like, it, it would be one Baker and then Butcher after that on subsequent hypothetical fives. It's, uh, man, this is a tough call, but it's more of my style to get a baker here, so that's what I'm going to do, okay? Double ambassador for you. Well, that's fine. It makes me a little happier with my baker. I mean, I guess I'd prefer a butcher here, but it's not a huge, huge deal. Uh, steward, I think, if I hit three. Uh, ooh, I can have five. I could get a butcher. I could get another baker. Uh, he did open double ambassador and didn't play one on turn three. So... <sighs> I actually think I want another baker here. But I think that'll be my last baker. Two estates. Okay, so he's got an ambassador coming up on the next turn. Uh, here, I don't want to spend the token. Native village is pretty good to have. 
and I can thin. I should consider picking up either a second ambassador or a steward. Now, do I spend a coin token here to pick up another native village? I think the answer is no. I would rather get uh, another butcher earlier as a result of saving the token. Uh, what's left in here that I could potentially want to draw? I don't think it matters. I'll play Baker first. Uh, for two, yeah, I will pick up another native village. Uh, I will set aside here in Thin Estates. I do want to butcher on my next five, and I want to start thinking about stewards. are you not terribly okay not quite as thin as I thought you were I'm actually thinner that's odd hmm Hitting five would kind of be nice, but I can hit five without picking up. Yeah, this is okay. Got a native village, an ambassador in here. Probably another copper. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd be reasonably happy setting any of those things aside. And I will pick up a butcher. Okay, I, I will almost certainly pick up this turn. It's just a question of whether or not I draw my other native village with this baker first. Which I do. Fabulous. Pick up. Hmm. Well, I gotta keep thin here. Now, uh, let's be very careful. I've got a butcher and a baker in there. I'm not too worried about terminal collision at this very moment. I, I mean, I would like to start drawing cards soon, but I think maybe uh, picking up either a butcher or a baker here would be smarter. I'm, I'm thinking pretty heavily about a baker. I don't want to let my deck get out of control. Let's let's go with the baker. Again, I, I'm not positive that's the right call. Okay, now you're thinner. Well, you did play like 500 ambassadors. I should consider getting well, I, I don't want a second ambassador. I would rather have a, a steward. And the fact that uh, you're thinner than me reflects that I, it looks like I have one more baker than you, too. Hmm. Which? Okay, that's pretty aggressive. I, 
think native village and steward here is fine. Steward can be useful for a lot of different things. pick up another steward. Let's try and stay on top of the deck size here. I really like to draw a native village with this baker. He's just trying to give me tons of junk. I don't appreciate that, sir. I don't want your junk. I mean, if you give me the copper, you have no more bad things to pass me. Okay, so he doesn't give it to me. Oh. More baker. Oh, drew a native village. Uh, I think I want to pick up here. Steward Trash Estates, Ambassador Copper. Ambassador Estates, Butcher Copper into native village. Or draw with the steward. I don't like that quite as much. I don't know if this is right, but it feels good. And you know what I always say. I mean, the more native villages you have, the, the better they get, I think, in a deck like this. You can use them to actually draw and increase your hand size.
but I'm worried that my deck size is already getting out of control. He didn't find his witch. See, even even with all this, he's not reliably drawing his deck. Uh, I think I want the last baker. I think, uh, or do I get another ambassador here? I really don't know. I think my position's pretty bad. I think my deck is just too big. And piles are starting to get low, although he doesn't really have any uh, that much control over it. He, I, if I was him, I'd just try and empty curses into my deck. Maybe it was the butcher. I don't I don't necessarily think that two ambassadors is the way to go here, although maybe I'm just wrong about that. Seems that the butcher is probably why I got so junked. I don't think I want another ambassador. I mean, there's no point in it. He doesn't have to like get VP to win. He doesn't he can just keep his deck really sleek. Yeah, let's just set aside here and trash. I don't want to be picking up with my native village any more than I really have to. As long as I don't have any of my trashing cards in there or anything that's important, I'm okay just continuing to set cards aside. And you've got 18 coin tokens, holy crap.
silver. Well, I, I don't understand that. He really should take a lead here. Otherwise, it's going to it's going to get to the point where I could in theory like end the game. Somehow empty the curses and get a province. Like I I think that I think he should have gotten a province. I mean, How many... Can I possibly empty the curses on this turn? I, I would be buying a province. I have a butcher and an ambassador to get curses out of the supply. I don't think I have any other way to do that. Okay. I can't do it this turn. I, I guess what I should do is hope he decides to not green next turn. <laughs> Continue to set aside. I'm at least getting an estate here. I'm actually thinking about getting a province. Sure. Of course, this is probably going to prompt him to green, but, like, <laughs> I'm sort of relying on him playing badly at this point anyway. Only one buy. I guess your storeroom is. Well, I guess you didn't draw it. Well, I can expect double province from you next turn, I guess. But. I mean, I, I think this is what I have to do. Even though it involves him potentially being able to give me more curses. Hopefully he stalls or something.
So he's picked up, he's guaranteed to have his storeroom. He can double province here. If he does that, I mean, my chances of winning go down to zero. Triggers a shuffle. Okay, he can draw his deck anyway, it looks like. Yeah, so if he's smart, he can ambassador me two curses by province curse and win the game this turn. Well, I lost the Ambassador War, so I lost the game. Why did I lose the Ambassador War? Uh, well, not sure, but I don't really care. Right now, I'd rather just play more games of Dominion.